All right. I think I did it. I think we're here. Do you see? Do we see levels see on the mics? Levels That's the mic. what's important. Uh, wow, wow, yeah, that, wow. that little bar's moving. Beer, 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 beer. That's good. Yeah, there should so be two bars that move. There's a desktop oh. snowball index. Perfect. Those yeah, are the two you need. One, two. Oh, hey. Oh, so, oh, oh, no. Hello. We are back. Hello to Jellyfish. We missed you, too. We haven't stream streamed. We haven't st well, stream. That's Here, it. Let me move the ironing board so you don't <laughs> punch anything. Oh shit! I forgot to do that. I don't think so. Oh my god! Don't do any punchies. That was very frightening. Punchies. All right, you should be fine. We've been watching regular uh, show. We have been watching regular show. We watch them play punchies. Okay. That's in the right spot this time. Uh, I'm going to turn off the thing. Which thing? The continuous movement. Mm -hmm. We're going to... Yeah. We are playing Half-Life Alex again, uh, but this time with uh, the developer commentary. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm switching back to, uh, to blooping around because it's also more immersive. To do this cool because yeah. it forces me to actually walk around my environment yeah right and like that's handy uh i'm gonna adjust something can you go to your furthest left corner my furthest left corner yeah like over here supposedly that's where i'm supposed to stop okay beyond this yeah. this point there's nothing that's the bookshelf that's that's because it's a wall yeah i wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna put you close to the ironing board because it's no, oh, well, this this is the... Hang on. I'm approaching the corner. Okay. That's the corner. Okay, great. I was and frightening. You just not go that far. Great. Uh, All right. Should be good to go. Regular show is good. Settings. Jellyfish, were you around when we played this the first time? Beep boop. Four only. All right. Okay, so the uh, the commentary is probably going to have a decent bit of spoilers for the later parts of this game, but like, if you don't know anything about Half Life and you don't feel like, you know, super invested, then it's probably not a big problem. I didn't really understand what the end of this game meant either, so... <laughs> Who did, honestly? It's a fun game regardless. It's a fun game to just kind of watch through. <laughs> we do have resin. She does run an Etsy. We are collecting resin so that she can <laughs> That's right. make resin jewelry of, like, little moons and, um, I don't know. Pick up Phone heavy objects cases. with both hands. Yes. What else do resin people make? Various charms. Like a little jewelry dish. That's the that's the uh, end of my bit. That was a good bit. Selling resin. Oh, items. interesting. I can like scurry backwards by pulling the trigger. That's weird. Why would I want to? Unless that's part of the turning. Strange. I'm out here with Get these out of here. Salted caramel apple cider, which is my favorite thing. I set it to so that we don't teleport. You can see me zip to the next location. Yeah. Hopefully that looks better on stream than we did before. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there is the texture. You can kind of see it in there. It'll be better when we have the vodka bottles. Yeah. Smash. Oh, oh. oh. Well, there we go. I can miss them. <laughs> All right, Resin let's go. Will make you super dead if you don't use a respirator. Got to get you a. Got to get you a mask. I could just cover my mouth. Cover your mouth. Yeah. Lighting. I hate that. 
apple pie and apple cider the other day. That's cool. Yikes, wow. Bumpy surfaces. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That's. I didn't understand like most of that, but it sounds pretty cool. I, I mean, I guess it boiled down to like we couldn't have your graphics card render all this shit out because it'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to do some stuff on our end. Which meant, like, you know, a lot of this uh, sounds like a lot of that is, like, pre-rendered. Sure. Right, and now it's doing something to manipulate that pre-rendered light. Any final words, Locke? Help! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, good. Barnacles are here. Let's learn about them. Okay. Oh, I had a hat on. Hopefully that was a good example of me getting caught by I one. I think so. Excuse me, that's not where my hand was. Blech. So nasty. Empty. This bitch empty. Yeet. Yeet. Horatio. <laughs> I know it's not Horatio, but it's funny now. It's a meme for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the gravity gloves are, are like the coolest. Oh, the best game. thing. I think it's why Andy likes this game so much. Honestly, yeah. I Like there have been so many times where I've like been in real life <laughs> and I've seen my, like my phone across the room and I've just been like, man, it would be fucking nice to just yeet it to me. Because VR is so immersive, I'm, like, used to just whoop. Because that's, like, all you do in this game. Gravity gloves are awesome. Yeah. They're a very important part of this game, so you'll see plenty.
another really cool um, mechanic in this game, since you haven't seen it yet, Jellyfish, is that I have a backpack on in the game, right? So whenever I get something new, I just put it behind my back into my backpack. And then if I need ammo for my gun, I just reach back and pull it out of my backpack. And then when I need to put it back in my backpack, I just put it behind my head and it goes in my backpack. It's super cool. Can you, like, can backpacks just work like that in real life, though? Like, can I just chuck things in and then get them back when I need them? Get the thing that you need back immediately. Wouldn't that be nice? What's the glowing thing? Oh, it's a fucking... Hmm? Oh, that? Commentary. I was like, what is that? Because I'm dumb. Pistol reloading. Pistols. Oh, heck yeah. Tag yourself on mentally taxing. As players would frequently mix up the buttons under pressure. Yeah. In the early stages of the game, players would be fumbling for clips, ejecting the clips when they meant to be chambering around, and generally making a mess. To those of us observing the playthrough, this looked like things had gone terribly wrong. The players themselves consistently cited this as a high point of the playthrough. Because of the physical nature of the reload and the skill required, Players blame themselves and not the game for the mistakes made as they were learning the reloading sequence. In this area, we provide a number of static targets in the form of barnacles for players to shoot at their own pace, increasing the likelihood that they have at least a few reloads under their belt before moving on. That's pretty handy. I'm glad that there are playtesters that were like, no, we like the chaos, <laughs> because, like, it is... It does kind of make it more fun. Yeah, I mean, like, that's... Okay, that didn't go in my backpack. It's one of those, it's like, like... part of games where it's like, yeah, I hated this, but it was great. Yeah, like, helpful immersion things. Because, like, if I was in this situation, like, I would be like... <laughs> trying to figure out how to reload the gun. So, like... Right. Yeah. Hello, sir. Just gonna <laughs> yoink. Ah. Anything over here? This guy's over here. Oh, you gotta open those dumpsters. Oh, yeah, we'll open those dumpsters. Can I? Poop. <laughs> it's it's funny that Russell gives yeah. you that dialogue when you go into a potty. A pototty Well, is it so weird to call a porta potty a potty no, if I, I just take away the you to say a potty right What did there. you want me to say? I don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Empty. Yeah, Jellyfish, I think this game, I mean, I haven't played it, but I think this game does check the boxes for being satisfying. Holy shit, you're in the dumpster. I'm out of the you're dumpster. Not in the dumpster anymore. <laughs> what was the question? Jellyfish just said so satisfying in reaction to, I'm not exactly sure what, but something. But I was saying, oh, that just I like think anything. This game definitely makes things satisfying oh, very yeah. often. That's what it seems like, anyway. That's where we came from. Some people are missing spines, and we just have to respect that about them. This guy? Or that, I mean, anyone. Can't be judging people for their lack of spine. Mm hmm. Can I? Sneaky.
Liza, sometime we should do a third playthrough, but you should do it. I bet you would get a kick out of playing this. Oh, man, maybe. I mean, the best part about this game is just how, like, immersive it feels. Mm -hmm. So much resin here. I know. I mean, I'm just going everywhere, picking it up. Wow. Nice. Trent Resin Or did the music. Trent Resin Or. <laughs> Fucking Winkle Boss twins, goddamn rowing. You don't remember where it is? I remember where it is. <laughs> Just follow the wires. Hello, friend. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse, excuse. It's an appropriate reaction, Alex. That was a Game Grumps reference. Oh, what? We the... talk about the Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, that, that's often. the best. Well, one of the best bits from Game Grumps, if you ask me. She also said the zooping around is making her nauseous, which oh, is valid. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Ironically, not zooping around... Makes me nauseous in VR. <laughs> You'd be surprised how awful it is to be moving around I'm when your body's not moving bird. around. Mm. Oh, can I just... Oh. Oh. Oh, hold hands. <laughs> Goodbye. Whoa, I'm in here now. You made it. Oh, once again, I must remind the audience that smoking is bad. <laughs> the best thing that Valve did for this game was make everything interactable, like a frictional game. Yeah, right. That's something, like, you miss once you play a bunch of frictional games and you go back to playing like any other game it's like and I you can't touch everything. like you can't interact with everything then and it's like what's the point certain i mean motion sickness is like definitely a thing with VR but not every game is like this yeah, a lot of VR games will make an effort to keep you in one place and then yeah. have the game happen around you. I think Five Nights was like that. There's a really good Portal VR game. Well, there's two. Two good Portal VR games. But they both have you just stay in one spot. Yeah. Beat Saber has you stay in one spot and Beat Saber's the best. Mm -hmm. uh, Super Hot VR Super does a Hot really good job. Yeah. That locks you in one spot. Oh. You move in super hot. No, you don't move. In I don't super think hot. you do. I'm pretty sure you stay in one spot yeah. for super hot VR. Yeah. If you, jellyfish, next time you come over here, we can have you. Yes. Try it out. Yes, not, absolutely. Not everything's quite as intense as this. No, there's some. Even with your fingers. I'm, I'm looking at this, like, the, the gravity glove. The Russells. The Russells, yes. Let's learn about hacking. Hacking. Tasked with using a tool in one hand to paint a pot on a sphere held by the other. 
There was just something fun and unique about using all of the natural degrees of freedom of both hands to solve a puzzle in VR. In its simplest form, this puzzle solution is straightforward, but the difficulty gradually increases throughout the course of the game by introducing static or moving obstacles of various shapes and sizes on the screen. Interesting. Ah, the red handle is probably the thing I need to touch. Oh, right, you got the wrist. Yeah, right? I forgot about those. Hey, you still there? You still listening to me talk about how they might have burnt your dad's dead body? <laughs> or buried it. You're still paying attention, right? <laughs> We're still having this conversation? Here they are. Wow. Oh. They do not want to be pet. They don't want to be pet. Oh. <laughs> Wiggly. Hello, Meep Miner. Welcome to our stream. Welcome. Thrown plastic bottles just is not the same. It's not the same as a bottle that'll break. There it is. I was going to say, we... We heard all the commentary for that map, yeah. so we're going to have to be loading a new map soon. Nothing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah. <laughs> 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 
That's that's, that's really funny. funny. That's uh, no, this is not our first playthrough. We played through this when it first came out back in what April? Maybe. Of what? When the game came out. Yeah, it was pretty close to that. <laughs> but uh but we liked it so much that um we wanted to play it with commentary because we think it's very cool to have a game with commentary definitely in the past i've also played the other valve games with the commentary so i wanted to play this one because it's always I know that very interesting portal with commentary yeah i didn't know you'd played the other ones i'm pretty sure i've played half-life 2 with a commentary at some point Russell just doesn't say anything. <laughs> Excuse me, hello? I'm gonna reapproach that. There you go. Weird, okay. We had to ensure that players would become proficient at reloading their pistols during the early levels of the game or later encounters in the game with the AWP. The fire map contained only static objects in the form of barnacles. Players could engage the barnacles at their own pace, but there were enough of them that players would need to reload at least a few times. This first live zombie is locked behind a chain link fence and cannot reach the player until the player opts into an encounter by shooting the lock on the door. Placement of zombies in the upcoming section of the game is designed to require plenty of reload to ensure that the player builds up the skill. <laughs> Yeet! Yeah, I tried to find a. Oh, you better back up. No, we were fine. We were okay. <laughs> yeah, I tried to find a tag that says that this wasn't our first playthrough, but I didn't find one. So. I think I also may need to reword our chat uh, welcome message. I, I tried to make it say, if we're tagged with first playthrough, avoid right. spoilers. Yeah. But I think people may assume that that just means no spoilers. Right. Gotta rephrase that. It's complicated. The sign on the fence moves as the zombie bumps into it. What sign on the fence? Oh, yeah. Does it? That's funny. That's really cool. That's pretty good. Nice, nice. Can I not shoot? Can I shoot this boy through the fence? I think you have to shoot. Oh. I can. I was wrong. Let's keep doing it. <laughs> Killing them sure kills them. It sure does. I like busting open the uh, padlocks at point blank. The Russells. We love the Russells. I like their little back feet. <laughs> this part's kind of gross. So weird. They look like they're wearing like, like a onesie. Yeah. It's like rolled up to their knees or something. <laughs> <laughs> Squish. What's less weird to shoot in a VR shooter game? Zombies or um, really geometrical red crystal men that explode? <laughs> What's, What's less traumatizing when uh, it comes to, uh, you know, not thinking about murdering people? I mean, <laughs> they're, the, they're, they're kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. I think if there's a, a VR game where, like, it was you know, not zombies or not 
really vague. Yeah. Like, like, like a human, like, yeah, like a, I, a person. I think that's the same kind of thing as, like, normal video games, though. It's like, you don't want to kill, like, normal people unless, right. you know, they're mean to you. I'm, I'm thinking, like, what's the ranking of things that are acceptable to kill? Like, like, people go for Nazis a lot. Like, people are like, well, if I have to kill a human, you know. Right. Might as well be these guys. I mean, whenever I play video games, I generally, like, have to wait until, like, someone attacks me and then i'm like well all bets are off now or like they've proven to like yeah um meep i think there's there's a mic in the vr headset right yes there is yeah that is why we sound the way we do because there's a mic in front of me at the at the computer at the desk and a microphone attached to andy's face it is really convenient that this headset has a well all right has a microphone in it Crouching. Crouching. Oh God. Playtesters did not enjoy having crouched so long. I would hate that. Yeah. That would bust my knees. There's there's certain maps that I play in Beat Saber that yeah. are just this for a long time. Yeah. It sucks. Does it explode it on its own? Yep. It sure does. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, almost took Even a gross shower. About crouching for that long. Makes yeah, it's no good. Hurt. It's. I could see why some play testers were not into that. I'd I'd throw a fit. <laughs> I'd either be a really good play tester or a really bad play tester because I would be loud. I'd be like, I'll I mean, tell you. I'll tell you what I think. It's probably what they want. I want to play test something. <laughs> Who doesn't want to play test something though? Uh, me too, dude. <laughs> Month nine of Big quarantine mood. got me like. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh, we gotta get in there. There's a, there's a commentary. That's right. We gotta go. Breakable glass, we got that. This boy's doing his best. He's hungry. I assume they eat us. One more? One more. Okay. I don't actually know what they're trying to do. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure, right? I assume they eat us. I guess so. I don't know, like, the whole deal with the head crabs, because yeah. that's what makes them zombies, right, right? right? So, like, I guess they're laying eggs, maybe? maybe. Real alien-style thing? Like, but they are aliens. Like, I'm talking, like, you know, alien, alien. like the... Like the, alien, alien? Yeah, right. Ooh, bubbles. My favorite thing about uh, alien is anytime I try to, like, look up the, the alien, I always have to type alien from alien into Google. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, uh... Was it? Is it Kill Bill? The stupid punch thing. 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah. The, the, That's what you gotta do to, to break the, the... Yeah. I cannot... Oh, I took my... You're holding a thing. I took it off of my face. I guess I don't need it for here. We don't need those until... Spoilers. Until spoilers. I do like that. That's fun that they... Had that glass system in there. Mm -hmm. Hello. He's just trying to listen to the commentary. Leave him alone. He is, but we can't have that. Alright, he stopped being where I could shoot him. Are you stuck? He's a little bit stuck. Yeah, oh, he can still hit me. He's not stuck enough. <laughs> not, not so stuck that he can't punch nope. you in the face. Nope, yep, yeah, he was not... Not that stuck. <laughs> right, isn't it a bit... Yeah, right. That he wants his gun back. Yep. Weapon upgrades are a new feature for the Half-Life franchise. And fictionally, this mechanic paired well with Alice's tinkering nature. We approached this design challenge first by thinking about what sort of upgrades could be meaningful and also provide additional value to players without removing established interactions. With limited resin to spend, the upgrade system also provided an avenue for players to personalize and invest in their favorite weapon, or streamline an interaction on another weapon, increasing its value set. For example, the reflex sight still requires players to physically aim, but it improves the feedback on exactly where their shot will hit, and exposes previously hidden enemy weak points. While some players enjoyed this feedback and new targeting opportunities, others didn't, and would instead focus on upgrades that suited their style of play. This allowed players to spend their limited resin on upgrades they cared about the most. Another aspect of weapon upgrades that we focused on was not necessarily obvious when we first started to design and test combat in VR. Due to the more physical nature of combat in VR, it can really push on the mental and physical capacity of certain players, as they're required to utilize both their hands and move their head to take in the environment dealing with enemies. While this is a very natural experience, there's also a lot going on at any given point with reloading and combat. As we observed players in some of these more intense combat situations, we started finding opportunities to allow some upgrades to reduce the number of times a physical interaction was required, or reduce the complexity of a particular interaction. The autoloader on the shotgun is a good example. When added to the shotgun, the normally slow, methodical action of feeding shells into the gun is replaced with a far simpler, faster interaction of slapping the shells into the autoloader before they get automatically fed into the gun. This allows players to look around, focus less on the gun while Yo, what kind of Doritos did you get, Jellyfish? Doritos? Get Doritos? Was it your Doritos purchase inspired by um our Jackbox games? The druggins. Stop flipping us off. I didn't mean to. I was just Rude. testing the fingers. Rude. Sorry. Rude. Oh, man. Uh, Keep your fingers in check. Boyo. I don't know if I need that. I guess I'll take it. Why not? Dang. I want some chips now. I'll be back. Boom! There it goes. Bam. Came back. 
You almost died avoiding a raccoon. I would like Who's to that know more information entail? about what you just said. Who died? Who almost died? Jellyfish says as soon as we finished playing games last night, she went to Wawa to get Doritos. Oh, and dang. almost died avoiding a raccoon. Well, that raccoon also wanted Doritos, Doritos clearly. a soft pretzel? That sounds delicious. I think you've unlocked something. That's a lot of power for one human to have. Squish. I hate squishing the buggies. It is sad, but they are just in these capsules. Yeah. You know, for, you know, forever it seems. So perhaps it's perhaps it's a kindness. So sorry. At least we could tell ourselves that it's a kindness. Sounds kind of loud over there. I know. I'm trying to access these chips. I'm trying to keep it away from the microphone. Okay. Player comfort and pacing. Nothing else about it, just... We were worried about this, but it didn't happen. Just missed all those first three shots I tried to send into this dude. That's how it is. I remember I, I remember you having to do this area many, many times last time. Really? Uh-huh. Dang. I think you kept shooting something that would explode. Oh, that sounds like me. And then it killed you. Huh. Jellyfish still has yet to tell us why a raccoon nearly killed her. <laughs> resin! Oh yeah. That sweet, sweet resin. Oh, hello. Ooh! Did that? I guess that went. To my backpack it didn't sound like it did. Guess I should have opened with that. Hello. Raccoon tried to run into the oh. car as you were driving. That's bad. Whoa, dang. Hate that. That's extra exciting. Oh, hello, strong oh. boy. Hello. Excuse me a second Why? reload. Woo, that was close, wasn't it? Get a head start on that boy.
The only time I've hit a creature with my car, I hit a deer, and it was very terrifying. Um, this is a good story. And I... So, so when I hit it, I kind of just hit it. Like, it was running across, and, like, it almost didn't get hit. But I bumped it in the butt. Um, it was very scary, so I pulled over. And these, um... So, like, I come from the middle of bumfuck nowhere. So, these, like, two, like, super redneck dudes in a truck pull up next to me. And they were like, hey, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I just don't really know what I need to do. I'm like, do I need to, like... I was like, do I need to call the police if I hit a deer? And they were like, eh, probably not. And they were like, oh, like, we'll check and make sure that your headlight still works. And if it does, then you should be safe. Because I, I was, like, five minutes away from home. And I was like, okay. So they pull up ahead of me, and they, like, lean out the window, and they're like, your headlight's fine, you should be able to go home. And I was like, okay. And they, they, you know, we were going the same direction, and I didn't see them behind me for a bit. And thinking about it later, they probably took the deer for themselves. Easy hunting. Because it's, it's redneck country, that's what happens. I prefer that to just having it, you know, have to suffer in the woods somewhere. Also, the dent in my car was so tiny, my parents did not believe that I hit a deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not where my hand is. Excuse me. Thank you. I thought it was nuts. Kind of sus. Can't move that, okay. I like Russell also screams. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Found him. Probably the only one of us. <laughs> it is stressful. I don't see a lot of raccoons. But there's always squirrels in the road around here. So I'm always screaming at the squirrels like, get out of the way, you idiot. I once saw a raccoon near our dumpster. That's pretty exciting. Raccoons like dumpsters. Yeah. I was like, I just need to throw this trash out. So if you can, like, calm the hell down. It made noises at me and I was like, get out of here, raccoon. When I worked at the laser tag place, there were always raccoons in the dumpster when you would, like, go to take out the trash. You'd, like, open the lid and they just stare at you like you, like, walked in on them. <laughs> Then you throw the garbage in, you close it, and it's like, there's your dinner. Have fun. <laughs> you, like, throw it on top of them? They were in the dumpster! <laughs> <laughs> they were usually, like, in the corner. But the other option was to try to, like, make them come out. Right. I know they didn't get hurt getting hit by trash bags, because they were always there. Thanks, Russell. Russell is very comforting. He's he's a real Wheatley. Same character type. Mm -hmm. Have you tried smooth locomotion? Was that the uh, other setting? Yeah, uh, I can I can do it for a little bit, but if I do extended sessions with that it really messes me up i also find that i also found that it was a bit less um hang on a bit less immersive <laughs> <laughs> to do finger quotes um because in in this uh i forget what this is called in this mode 
I'm forced to like need to actually walk around our play area to like kind of explore. Whereas if in continuous motion mode, I would just stay in one spot and move the camera around, which is kind of like less immersive. I could see how this ver this mode definitely uh, takes the combat excitement out because I could just go, oh no, boop, 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 and I'm like super far away. <laughs> But, like, I don't know. I guess the combat was still difficult for me first playthrough. And I was on this mode. So, I'll take the immersion over the the making the combat easier. To give my long-winded explanation of that. Uh -huh. Put that on my wrist. You're doing a playthrough of the whole game using IRL walking only? I didn't know that was an option. Was that chat? Big play area. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, that's... <laughs> I would freaking love that. That'd be cool. That would need like a warehouse play area though. <laughs> I mean, awesome if you have that. Here's a tech tip. Don't do this to your PC. Oh. I can't... Yeah. Is that, is that line of tech tip? That's... Yeah. <laughs> ah, Meat Miner says they have a thing to rotate their play space manually so they can turn in real life but keep walking straight in the game. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That sounds like a pretty, pretty snazzy, oh, that's oh. heavy. Pretty snazzy VR setup. It's July. Oh, I thought it said it's juicy at first. Me trying to remember what fucking day it is <laughs> in 2020. Jellyfish, I don't recommend you using your PC like that. <laughs> yeah. That's gaming. Gaming. Beep boop beep boop. All right, I think we've looted this area. Was there dialogue for the floppy disk? Was there? Oh, you know, I feel like I remember that. Oh, you know, you're right. Can you... Can you, like, look at it? Yeah. Yep. Most of it. It's a lot of internet. Smart move on his part. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, if if you think something's going to go down and you need to download things from the internet, I mean, going for, like, Wikipedia yeah. first, that's the move. You want Wikipedia still after that. I, I was Can't reading a thing in somewhat there. recently about that and how downloading the entirety of Wikipedia is pretty easy. Can you do it? Is it possible? I think so. And I hope that doesn't sound awful whenever I adjust the headset on my head because the Most mic's on the it. the internet means a lot of porn. Mm. That's true. But like, you know, that's part of the deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, this part. Mm. Did we already listen to all the commentary nodes in this area? Do you remember oh. the last number? I don't remember the last number. I think we, are sti we still go through this for a bit, though. Yeah. No, but Wikipedia would be very good to have. That's like the first move. You want Wikipedia still, no matter what. 
Oh, you can take off the last commentary headset you put on to see? Can you take... Is there a headset on you right now? Uh, you know... Aha! Ah! It doesn't show me my number, though. There's nothing that I can think of worse about the apocalypse than, you know, having the whole world be in disarray and then somebody be like, what was the name of that person that was in that movie? It, right. And, and then having no way of knowing. Not having access to that anymore? Yeah, right? That would be so sad. That would be hell. You'd want to be the person that's like, I can tell you right. the name of the person. I downloaded Wikipedia. I've got the internet. Oh, two of them here. Oh. I guess we just started this map? It's one of five. Okay. Except when a troll was the last one to edit a page with nonsense. I feel like you could probably find it out from somewhere else, though. The square and dot patterns that are the functional elements of the environmental puzzle and the mural representing the Vortigaunt's interpretation of the events of the Half-Life Saga. For the first few years of development, this area only contained the dot pattern supporting the perspective puzzle. But as we fleshed out the rest of the level, we found that the characters were especially positive to the Vortigaunt's wall markers leading up to the high mark. It was at this point that we realized that this area could serve as a canvas for our Vortigaunt's artistic matching purpose. To do this, we organized the dot patterns into a sort of swirling star field behind the Vortigaunt's art. The imagery itself, which was inspired by petroglyphs and other traditional rock art, portrays many significant events from the Combine invasion, painted hurriedly by the injured Vortigaunt, almost as if he was trying to capture what fleeting memories he still had of the Vortices from which he had been severed. The fact that Vortigaunts have a complicated relationship with time gave us a lot of leeway in terms of drawing this as a strict, linear timeline. For example, you may notice that the Vortigaunt uses contemporary Combine troops as shorthand for Combine invasions from the past, or that the timeline is just generally hazy, a little from the past, a little from the present, and a little looking forward to the future events of Half-Life 2. I think a lot of people would be fucked if the world ended jellyfish. <laughs> Oh. Yep, that's what it sounds like. The extraction of their energy to combine with meaning. <laughs> as well as historically familiar sounds representing the vortescence itself. This area does have a very good aesthetic. I agree. Very pretty. Yeah. Neato mosquito. All right, let's remember how this puzzle works. I'm not remembering. Oh, hold Disco on. Disco room, dance, Andy. 
I, I agree. Dance will reveal the answers. You better move. You better dance. Oh my god, that's Pitbull. I wasn't ready for Pitbull. Always be ready. Always be ready for Timber. It's going down. It's going down. Koga. Koga. Don't forget about Koga. Do you remember the puzzle? No, do you? Yeah. You gotta go back to, uh, that. Oh, this thing? thing? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Got. Or something. There's a light thing. Ah! Yeah. Buttons! Yeah. Alright, let's... It up. Let's remember where the thing is. So, boop and boop. Got it. Three on the top, two on the bottom. Dancing queen. Young and sweet is friends with Speed. That's brilliant. Nice. Got caught. Overwatch says defend payload. <laughs> <laughs> A brick. Nice. We need some windows. Right? Throw some bricks through some windows. Can you put that bucket on your head? Probably. I could put a cone on my head. I shouldn't be able to put a bucket on my head. Okay, no, it just makes everything terrible. Can you see? Yes, can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what made it terrible? It turned, it, like, freaked out the headset. Nope, that's wow, a no. You can't wear a bucket. You can wear a cone on your head, but you can't wear a bucket. Right? That's what I'm saying. I guess cone head's funnier than bucket head. I think they're equally funny. <laughs> Chat, what's funnier, cone head or bucket head? The pole of the century right here. Koga. Koga. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Jellyfish votes cone is funnier, so uh That's, That's what I thought. I love that, Isabel. Hard to avoid them. Okay, but... 
I have I have one of these set up in my Animal Crossing island, uh, right next to the airport. And whenever anyone comes to visit, I just I just spam it for them. Making soup. Jellyfish says that's my best friend. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go look at what he's cooking. I've got to listen to this. For as long as we've been making choreographed scenes like this one, we've found that there are two types of players. Those who become engrossed with the characters, and those who tinker with everything around them, paying little attention to the scene's action. To make these environments Others are animations triggered by the player's actions, like the way the caged head crabs react to the player approaching or shooting them. One type of object on the table is a squeezable head crab heart. Squeeze it. From an older version of the game, oh, shoot. the player would revive the wounded Vortigaunt by squeezing nectar from its heart. While that scene didn't work out, we found the experience too compelling and, well, too gross to continue. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> that's really gross. I love it. I don't, last time we played, I don't think we really explored over here. No. Oh, because can this. You, can you pick up a spoon? Yes. Have some soup. How's it taste? Uh, soupy. Oh, don't touch oh. it. Don't touch the soup. It's hot. Just take a little bit of soup. I like that the, the spoon is steaming now. It's got soup in yeah. it. It's got soup in it. It's hot. No, the soup. You're ruining it. Oh, shoot. Sorry. We, we can add to the soup. Let's put the heart in. Yeah, you should. Does it float? No. It does not. We cannot get that anymore. Two crabs for extra flavor. Oh, ah! no, oh that one does one not want to go in. Crab is plenty. <laughs> Can't touch those. The ceiling is there in real life. Mm, hate to see it. They said there's an interaction for when I shoot these guys. Yeah. That kind of mean. I don't like it, but like, oh no, that one oh, got scared. Mm. Meat Miner says their ceiling fan is an antagonist in all their VR. Oh videos. damn! <laughs> that's rough, buddy. Oh, that's worse. We we only have like this popcorn ceiling that's maybe eight feet up. So like, if I try really hard, I can touch it. And he's quite tall. But like, it's it's still unple not as unpleasant, mind you, as a ceiling fan. That's worse. But <laughs> it's also no good to like slam your hands into. The, your fingertips, no less, into popcorn ceiling. <laughs> it's quite pointy. All right. I guess we'll watch this and then we'll... Am I too close? Uh, 
Dude loves cardboard. Dude. I look. Thank you for everything, but I really have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The combat drill. Yes. I am the seventh in your chestnuts. I am three in my head. I'm sorry. Look, if if I can. I run across your friends. I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I matter. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> yeah, the horns. <laughs> This one's not behaving as well. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's listen to this. <laughs> from the start, this moment always got a great reaction from playtesters and remains all the way <laughs> Very good. Jump. Jellyfish says, want to hug weird friend. <laughs> probably like a hug. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. <laughs> Sustenance. <laughs> I'll eat it later. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. <laughs> He's great. He's a very funny guy. <laughs> you have saved my people. Sustenance. I I, I haven't. That's <laughs> like, are you done helping? I have not. <laughs> we love a weird character. We love just a weird thing. Oh shit. What? Is this What chapter are we about to go into? I don't know. Normally 
there's a map in the loading screen. Isn't this there? this is the map. What? Isn't this a map? I don't see a map. What? Do what you do you see? see? I see a an hourglass and like a gray screen. Whoa, crazy. Did you see a map? Yeah, there's a map on my screen. Damn. Okay. Wow, yeah, it is just a... Oh, interesting. You're seeing a totally different view from me. Really? That's pretty handy. You've got a HUD on there? Yeah, we've got a HUD. Do you not That's have a HUD? really well, I guess cool. You only have that on the Russells. Yeah, no, I've only got that on the Russells. Oh, you also don't see the controllers? No. That I see. I've popped open my desktop so I can look at what you're seeing. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool that it, it does that for the the computer end for people watching. Yeah, I think that's new. I don't think the the first time we streamed this, I don't think it did that. Oh, uh, that's because we were streaming it differently. Mm. I was capturing the VR view directly. I see. When we streamed this the first time. Is or will be. Alex. Alex, the signal's back. Russell. Are you okay? I'm good. Yeah. I've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find the view junction before they get there. I'm working on That's not what I meant to pick up. The boot to the head. Boot. I wanted this, yeah. Boop. Always gotta be wearing a hat. We love having a hat in this game. Ammo. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, liquid physics. It's so cool. Hello. Oh, the, does it bubble? That's crazy. Yeah, if I shake it, there's bubbles in it. What the hell? That's so cool! Oh no, I popped it! It's destroyed. Now we'll never see a cool thing again. Anyway. Cooking. Was that Bowser? Yes. <laughs> he said crazy Fortagon stuff. Whoa, 12 whole things here. Damn, this is a big section. Any last words? I didn't give him an opportunity. Andy, what would your last words be if you could pick? Ah! That's pretty good. <laughs> Probably. Armored Head Crabs 2. The sequel. The crabbing. The crabbing. Teaching design elements of enemies is always tricky. Players have shown us for years that it's really hard to learn something new while under attack. We've also seen that invulnerability, in particular, is a difficult enemy feature to teach. If players are blasting away at an enemy, they are often not paying close attention to the impact feedback. Electric boogaloo. If the enemy is vulnerable in some areas and not others, players may kill the enemy with a spray of gunfire, not realizing that some of their shots did nothing. While others hit critical weak spots. So when we approached the armored head crab training, we knew we'd need to do significant work. Yo, Charlie, Charlie Brown? Charlie <laughs> freaking Brown! ...by containing the enemy inside this wire fence. Next, we placed head crabs at high level facing the player, exposing their bright, hulking weak spots. If the player shoots...
So chunks, huh? Pretty smart stuff. Pretty oh, smart hello. Indeed. Okay. I like how it's like, in case you didn't notice that one over there, yeah. you have to notice this one because you gotta shoot this. Wow, he's right in front of me. There we go. Oh! Gross. Popped right through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got him! I didn't think I'd get him. You did get him. Nothing Gross. in there. Just some schmutz. Some gunk. Nice. I think, oh yeah, it's right there. Oh! That makes sense. I don't think we've ever we ain't ever encountered that in the uh, the last playthrough. But I think you know we were taught pretty easily in this part. We've played enough video games where we kind of understand the language of the right. glowing point is where you want to shoot it. Yeah, right, 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 right. It's one of those things where it's like you know if you're not a native video game player, you won't pick up on things yeah. like that. <laughs> what it tastes like that he has one frozen in his fridge he does it's labeled do not eat he would eat it russell would totally eat a head crab is that resin yo you got resin yeah it is that's some resin right there give me that Because you also can't see the room view now, right? Right. Yeah. Or the, the play safe area, whatever Steam VR calls it. Yeah. Last time you were able to see that yeah. in stream. Yeah. Right. I, I specifically was ca am capturing the other window now, the actual game window on the computer end. So that you don't see all that mm -hmm. junk that matters to me, but not to you. I didn't realize that it gave you a specific HUD, though, where I have to actually look at the Russells. You could still see it on the Russells though, right? Yeah. It's the same information. Yeah. That's cool. 
I didn't yeah, know but that. The HUD says that you've got a a syringe in your one. Yeah. Pocket. Oh yeah. Does it show that I have a uh, this guy? Uh, no. Huh. I guess it only really cares about syringes in there. Oh, them. now it does. Oh. Weird. Okay. Wild. Shotgun gate one. One challenge we always face when giving a new weapon or tool to the player is ensuring that they collect it before moving on. In these cases, we try to establish some kind of gate that the player can only get at using the new item. This can be especially tricky in cases where we are giving the player a new tool that doesn't fundamentally change their capabilities, as in the case of the shotgun, where almost everything that can be done with the shotgun can also be done with the pistol. In contrast, the pistol gate, where the player had to acquire the pistol before being able to shoot the lock off of the fence back at Russell's lab, was simple to design and execute. For this shotgun gate, we not only needed to ensure that the player collected the shotgun, but also that they learned how to load it before proceeding. We playtested a number of approaches to teaching the reload mechanic during combat, and repeatedly found that it didn't work. When faced with learning a new, complex task under duress, players would retreat back to using their pistol, which was a known quantity for them. Makes sense. Jump on down. <laughs> the combination of a timer and a look trigger is a common trick used in places where we like the player to see a neat visual moment. <laughs> we can't wait forever, or the game simply won't progress. Mm. The breaking of the walls by the zombies is the final step in opening the shotgun gate. Having new enemies open the way forward when they enter the player's space is a fairly tried and true method, but it's never one we're particularly happy with. It's always a bit too convenient and lacks agency on the player's part. But in a setup like this, which contains a novel puzzle, a new weapon, and its associated mechanics, plus an ambush, we're already... That's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> yeah. Small space, ...and further additions will complicate the scenario even further. Uh, right. Oh. Oh. Give it to me. Give it to me. You have him by the ankle? <laughs> yeah, I got him by the booty now. Here Give we us go. the gun. <laughs> can I load more in? How many can I load in? Oh, that's it, okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. Is this where we... Oh, no, this is new. They did. Uh, 
Anything good? What, they don't give me anything good? That sucks. They came in here for nothing. What a waste. Oh, good thing you missed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The goods. That's the good stuff. The treats. I can't make a. I can't make the Italian. The, the oh. hand, um, <laughs> you know when you put all your yeah. fingers together. Yeah. Like the pinchy hand. The pinchy hand, someone yeah. Someone spilled some mustard. Can't hey, someone that. come clean up your mustard. I can, I can do this though. We just got mustard all over. There we go. Don't do that. I did it. <laughs> it's been a while since anyone's gotten me with that one. What happened to that water bottle? Why is it so wiggly? I don't know. Someone really was really like <laughs> sucking it down, you know. Like melted. Things to twist up. Oh. We'll never know. But it fizzes. It does. That's it looks crazy. like it's getting foamy in there, too. That's what I'm... That's oh, what yeah, I'm look, doing. see? That's crazy. The foam's going away, and then... That's ridiculous. That's really cool. When we first played this game, they hadn't added that yet. They only added that after we finished our first playthrough. So that's very exciting. All right, we're going this way. The visual design of the shotgun included a number of challenges. Shotguns in games are generally powerful, and we communicate that power with bolts. As a result, they're big and held in two hands. But our experiments with two-handed VR weaponry didn't reach a level we were set upon. I bet that sucks, yeah. Yeah. When holding a two-handed object in real life, the object itself provides a physical mm. connection between the two hands. And that constraint allows players to stop thinking about it consciously, in addition to providing physical feedback. In VR, without that connection or feedback, we found that players had to keep maintaining their own internal sense of how they were holding their two-handed weapon. Or they dripped their hands into positions that were hard for us to reconcile. As a result, our two-handed weapons required players to play along more than we liked. Since one of our core goals with Half-Life Alex was to allow players to fully immerse themselves by choosing to think about what they were doing in real life, we decided to focus on single-handed weapons, including the shotgun. Oh, to have a single-handed shotgun? Single-handed shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about guns in real life, but I feel like if you just tried to one-hand a shotgun, you'd, like, fling your arm backwards. Oh, probably. I think you'd <laughs> Like, rip your arm up. off. <laughs> yeah. Simple addition of allowing the players to insert two shells at a time to solve this issue, allowing us to keep a good path in the line whilst losing the bad. We were 
seems to reinforce the whole action with the star thing. An experiment is with some big gesture that they could use to finalize the reload. The inclusion of a pop-up mechanism allowed us to add an additional step to the reload that further separated it from our other weapons, yet had the satisfying flick of the wrist to complete the Flick that shit. It, this is great. <laughs> like, I do agree. Being able to, like, reloading and then... Whoosh. I used to have a, a Nerf gun. It was called the Maverick that had the magazine pop out the side. So, like, the mag it was like a, a revolver and the magazine would pop out the side. You put in all of your, your Nerf darts and then you could flick it closed. That was awesome. Okay. And this is, this is, like, the same thing. Right. It's really satisfying to do that. Ooh, a box. <gasps> Heck yeah. Okay. I was so excited for the box. Can you do me a favor and like find something to throw? Yeah? Where do you want me to throw it? I don't know, wherever. Okay. Um What? Meet Miner is saying that uh game audio got really quiet for some reason. Oh. I see. So you you wanted so me I, to make I noise. I want to make noise to see if it's still a problem or not. <laughs> it does seem as though it gets quiet when we listen to commentary. It reduces the sound of the game. That makes sense. So if it's still a problem, yeah. we can we can assess that. But it seems as though one whoa. that was amazing. <laughs> seems as though now that it's might have been broken it. glass on your face, but that was amazing. Uh, don't think about it. <laughs> if it if it persists, let us know. Yeah, it's, that's one problem with this setup is it's difficult to monitor our audio. So we, we rely on the audience to let us know when the stream is not ideal. Ah. Boom. Uh-oh, a second one. Dang it. Yikes. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got nice and close to him to make sure I didn't miss and I just whiff it. Oh, that sucks. You just John Wicked the head crab. <laughs> the one in midair? Because, uh, yeah, a bit. Some beans. Can't, can't quite, can't, can't get the beans. The beans. Shoot the beans. One. He was number one. one. That's a body. That's what happens when you smoke. <laughs> Where's chairs? I need to tell them not to smoke. <laughs> oh, damn. You need one more resin to do something. Do I? Yeah, you got 19. Yo, that sucks. Well, we do have the shotgun, though, so... Yeah. Oh, true. I like the sound. It's like a little song. Yeah. Grenade launcher. I mean, might as well go for the laser sight, right? Yeah, I mean, that's your choice. Mm. I can't tell you what makes sense. And this one needs, yeah, it needs 20. Well, we'll hold off for now, I think. All right. I don't know if I need the laser sight on the shotgun when it's the weapon that you want to get up close with and right. blow someone's head up. <laughs> I don't remember what I what I had my setup as last time. We got most of the valuable upgrades last time. Hey. Going back. <laughs> what was the there were some good ones for the pistol, weren't there? Yeah, but I don't think you could do any without. Oh, you just got a resin. Yeah, I just did. Three shot burst. I don't, I don't think we got that last time, did we? Let's go for it. 
Whatever. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to hype up these machines, otherwise they don't work as well. Cheer for them. That's right. Oh. Huh. Oh, cool. And this is just normal. All right, that's fun. We definitely didn't have that last time. Yeah. Can you turn it off? Yeah, so I have to double tap this button. Uh, and it'll switch it back and oh, forth. Oh, I see. See, and you can that's tell cool. it's yeah. one bullet, and now it'll shoot three bullets. That's pretty cool. That's handy. All right. I don't think we did that last time. We out here trying new things. That's right. Like broccoli. Pistol go burr. Pistol go burr. Oh, we, already, have a we already have a bug. Maybe you'll find a thing for it. Like right yeah. here. Boop. I'm pretty sure we always wind up with, like, one too many bugs. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. Nope. Bing! Nice. All right. Oh, hello, boys. Hello, lad. Ah! Gang. The boys are back in town. The boys are back Spilling in town. They're mustard all over. They're mustard? Messy, yeah. Messy, mustard boys. Me messy, messy. Like the. Like the guy in Frosty. What? The. The, um. In Frosty the Snowman, in that, uh, in the animated cartoon, oh, there's the, the magician goes messy, messy, messy. Don't remember that. You don't remember that? Oh, no. man. Chat, help me out. That happens. Frosty the Snowman. Oh, no. No, no. Don't. Oh, God. I need those bullets. I happen to know the jellyfish has very strong feelings about Frosty the Snowman. What's happening? Nothing's happening right is, now. I'm just telling you. Oh, what's what jellyfish saying? Well, now jellyfish is saying no. Oh Jesus! But she didn't need to say that because I already know that jellyfish has very strong feelings oh. for Frosty the Snowman. What kind of strong feelings are there for Frosty the Snowman? I, know about her. I mean, I don't think it's that good, but I don't. I mean, I didn't expect there to be strong feelings in either way about Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Make the bricks kiss. Make them kiss. Okay. God, the floating <laughs> headsets are kind of intimidating. I keep thinking they're like a weird enemy. Yeah. Like, oh, it's gonna get us, whatever it is. Nothing over here. It's gonna hurt us. <laughs> it's gonna be mean the to me. Worst enemy, yeah. Hello. The darkness gate. As with the shotgun and the pistol, we needed a gate of flashlight to ensure the player couldn't proceed without. We tried a number of designs around the moment where the player collected the flashlight, but they all ended up being about the player picking up an object, and not specific to that object being a flashlight. Given that the flashlight's primary function is to provide light, we felt the gate needed to be an area of darkness. Makes sense. I also really wanted the players to be excited to get the <laughs> flashlight, and that meant they had to experience darkness before collecting it. <laughs> this turned out to be an interesting challenge, because we already had many poorly lit areas prior to this, and now we needed an area that was so dark that players would correctly interpret it as a gate. Our initial implementation was simply to ensure there were no lights within the hallway. Unfortunately, playtesting immediately showed that wasn't enough. Some VR headsets have extremely low black levels, and on those mm. levels, enough light bounced in from this lit area <laughs> to enable players to move forward. In addition, our low ground fog provided just enough contrast in the dark hallway for players to make out the scene and stumble through it. <laughs> Even once we removed fog and bounced light in this area, we saw yet 
other ways that players try to move forward. Some players would fire their pistol repeatedly. <laughs> wow. Oh man, does that work? Yeah. Oh. What happens if I'm just not allowed in? Oh, you just can't go. Yeah, well, I can't use this doesn't. I can't use this to go any further. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. That's I really like the idea of I'm going to use the muzzle flashes. Yeah, right. To see where I'm going. What kind of absolute nonsense can I use to right. make this game do what I want? Okie dokie. Hold on to that. Hey. Hey, <laughs> well, that worked out. Aw. Eh? Eh? Okay. <laughs> If you ever see me, if you notice me like facing one direction and then I'll spin the camera around yeah. to like then turn around again. This is more for our chat because they can't see uh, our room view. In our room view, I could tell which orientation I am inside our VR play space. The headset likes to be oriented one specific way. Otherwise, the base stations kind of lose perception of where. Hey, whoa there. Perception of where it is. <laughs> and things get funky. So I'm trying to avoid that. Where are you going? That's right. Have you experienced a head crab on your face yet? Did that happen last game? That hasn't happened. That happened. I game. I did everything in my power to prevent that from happening because it seemed like it would be the worst thing. Didn't it happen once? Yeah, I think it did. I hated it. I think it has happened and you would just like, I don't know. I just remember flailing. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember if there's a specific way for me to get it off, but I just grabbed at it until... Something was fixed. <laughs> like hacking and environmental puzzles, counter puzzles like this one are often used to relieve tension from combat and engage the player's mind in a refreshing way. This puzzle introduces a new junction type, which has two inputs and two outputs, as well as branching circuits. Functionally, it's just a simple airlock. Only one of the main combine gates can be powered on at a time, with an additional wrinkle that the smaller side gate on the return path must be powered on separately. In addition to providing a break between hectic combat encounters, this puzzle is a gameplay mechanic refresher since it's been some time since the player has seen a counter puzzle and the next one starts to ramp up with complexity. Oh. Yeah, all right, all right. Fair enough, I guess. Get back. Ah, <laughs> excuse me. Yes, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Whoa, Whoa. there! Oh. Hey, bud. Interesting. Hate this! <laughs> what? Get your hand out of there! Just, just, just go around him. He's, uh, he's fine. This is something else. This is fine. He's okay. Art imitates reality. <laughs> Dang. Truly, truly wild. Look at this. Wow. It's the <laughs> wow. Can I untwist him? There we go. Ah, oh, I'm sure he appreciates that. He's I'm waving. Sure he's smiling. High five. I thought he didn't have a hand and I was going to be like, he's not waving. Good job, buddy. Can I get him down? No, he's he's, he's just down. in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't like that face that Maybe. close to me. <laughs> Man, we keep doing that in games lately. Getting stuff stuck. Yeah. At least once again, <laughs> at least it's not Amnesia Rebirth and we don't need to plug him in somewhere important to advance the story. Uh -huh. Definitely not terrified, if you were wondering. Hey, your flashlight. Ooh. Flashlight. Oh, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> Can't do that. That makes sense. Well, this is gross. Not good. Boop. Bah. Not good. Oh, well, I see the problem. You've got this. Don't have that. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Big crab. Mean boy. Big crab hours. Big crab time. Do we ever see the fast zombies in this game? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Getting messed up here. Duh. Empty. Got him. Yo, I'm a big fan of this rapid fire. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty handy. Good. Does it use three bullets at a time? Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Yes. <laughs> it's really dark in here. Press. Yeah. Can you just talk about what? About anything. Which one? Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Okay, that was my fault. I'll be more specific next time. <laughs> Russell being like, oh good, I could talk. Let's talk about all the things that could hurt you while you're in the dark. You want to talk so you're not scared? Mm, I don't know how to do that. I can only talk to make you more scared. Yo, what's on the stick? Is that resin? Oh no. It's just some beer. Just some beer. Oh, what? We decided to make this an automatic behavior of the offhand whenever it was brought close to the grip of the gun. What? If you do this, you'll see that the offhand grips the gun in a natural pose, and the flashlight aligns with it. In fact, if you look closely at the end of the flashlight, you will notice that it has a ball joint. This allows the flashlight to articulate based on whether the offhand is gripping the gun or not. The ball joint has four different orientations, one for each gun. And the neutral oh. orientation for when the player is not supporting the gun to aim. Oh, that's fun. These four orientations ensure that the flashlight is always pointing in an ideal direction for the player. Huh. In mode, the flashlight attaches to the gun hand at an orientation that is ideal for all scenarios. That makes sense. I never knew that you could do this. That's funny. Like, I, I was always like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, like, think that I could brace my gun hand. With the flashlight hand. That's pretty funny. Man, if I knew about that, that would have been like, that's like the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, feel like I feel like a real like cop, like like in those, in like those detective shows yeah. where they're like in the the serial killer's house or oh, something. Yeah, they, to break in and yeah, they always hold hand. their gun like that, don't they? You're right. And there's a flashlight involved. Resin. Woo! Treats. Can I have a snack? Oh. Crunchy. Oh. We're back. We're back here. Nice. Who keeps leaving this unopened alcohol everywhere? What a good question. <laughs> There's a lot of it. It makes sense later in the game, but like right now? What's that about? It's for us to break. Mm, they left it here so we could break it. That was very kind. Last three? What? You are burning through your bullets a lot quicker. Because I'm using this mode. Yeah. Yeah. That would do it. Last one. Rip. <laughs> Koga. Uh -huh. The 
actually answer scavengers? Yeah, I guess so. Why are there so many scavengers that aren't drinking these drinks? <laughs> it doesn't, uh, doesn't hydrate you. No one wants that. Everyone here cares about hydration. Hydration is key. Really makes me want a club sandwich. <laughs> Be like, I can't have this at the apocalypse. Gotta have it now. Dang. Meat Miner says during the Jeff chapter, you can catch a head crab sneaking off in a vent with a bottle of vodka. So maybe the head crabs are the ones leaving the booze. Oh everywhere. man, that's great. I I like boozy head crabs. Whoops, nope. Put that back. Whoops, inside of it. Sandwiches! Sandwiches! 12 out of 12. <laughs> it's great I love that I'm glad that they shared that that's the kind of shit I want from game comedy. yeah right why did you write a sandwich monologue it makes sense <laughs> developer notes and actor notes is there ammo right under that barrel by your feet this one yeah on the other side well. Wow. Oh, jeez, out of the darkness. You know, forget this. Was there voice actor commentary in the Portal games? That's cool. In which games? Portal. Oh, really? Oh, you know, I guess sometimes the voice actors would talk too, wouldn't they? I started playing the commentary for Portal, but then I stopped. I have a bad attention span. That'll do it. Yes. Oh man, more of them. You know what? What am I doing? What are you doing? Put that over there. Okay, but like more, more over there. I so. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's going to make a sandwich. Oh, now you're interested in me. That's cool. He's got a blobby wrist. Oh, he did. You were right. Sometimes 
happens. That happens to the best of us. Yo, I want those. And I want that. Oh, how many can I? Okay, seven's the maximum. All right. That didn't go in my backpack. Oh, geez, I don't even. He was wiggling his butt. Did you see that? Sometimes. You did a little butt waggle. Sometimes you gotta shake ass, you know? <laughs> sometimes you gotta shake that ass. That's, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes it's the only choice. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm against the wall. All right. Love tearing planks off a wall. Heck yeah. You love to see it. You do love to see it. That's, there we go. It's a push door. Goodbye, chapter. Goodbye. Yeah, we can't see what you're doing right now. I know, I was being secretive. <gasps> what did you do? Just checking how long we've been streaming for. Two hours. What do you think? Should we call it here between maps? We can do that. Feels like it's a good time between yeah. ideas. This exact spot is uh, where we took a break last time. <laughs> that sounds right. I mean, it's a pretty good spot for a break, right? Yeah, I mean, right. Right after a pretty heavy combat area. Thanks for joining. Anyone who's wow. here. Wow. Why'd that work? That was crazy. It's a very strong milk container. It really was. We'll be back eventually. Yeah. Uh, we don't really schedule our streams. We just kind of do them when we can. We do, yeah. Work be that way. Work be that way. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you next time. Have a good life. Have a good life. <laughs>